In today's video, we're gonna talk about the reasons that make Maya the best 3D software for animation and why it is also widely popular in game development and VFX. So without further ado, let's jump right in. But before we do that, let me take a moment and talk about Class Creatives and their top-ranked online game design curriculum. You will learn from experts in the field who also have experience teaching at accredited universities. All the courses are taught by seasoned professionals who have worked for companies such as Disney Animation, Naughty Dog, Insomnia Games, Sony, Google, and more. Even for beginners, the courses are incredibly simple to follow at your own pace because they are divided into manageable bite-sized pieces. However, they all work together to make a comprehensive entire course. In their masterclass courses, the full character animation workflow is covered from start to finish. Character animation fundamentals emphasizes the value of video references to bring characters to life utilizing Autodesk Maya and Unreal Engine. And extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all your project's needs. And the great thing about class creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. So get started today with the link in the description and use our unique code to receive a special 25% discount off the pro subscription. We all know that Autodesk Maya has been around for a while even since its official release in 1998. It has attracted the interest of numerous large studios, in addition to businesses and countless artists leading to leaps in the development of the software. As a result, entire game development, animation and VFX studio pipelines have been built and developed around this software. Custom pipelines have been created to make Maya fit into a certain process, and studios have devised pipelines in which Maya is a key component. But it is not as easy as installing it in everyone's computer, because studios need highly trained artists who have actual experience with Maya and have other set of tools that revolve around such core software. Companies have spent a lot of money and years building up their pipelines, which revolve around one main software. Software such as 3D Studio Max, Cinema 4D, Houdini, Maya, and so on, which are industry standard software. Just to give you an example, Blender right now is not industry standard, not because it's not as good, but because it takes time and effort for studios to change their core 3D packages. And this begs the question, can you make visual effects heavy films and video games without using Maya? You can do it, replied Scott Farrar, the visual effects supervisor at Industrial Light and Magic. At this point, everybody is so comfortable with the tool, it would be impossible. Just so you know, a lot of studios use a combination of industry standard software, but Maya has been widely adopted in the entertainment industries, and it is now very important, which takes us to the next point. A lot of major studios use Maya as a critical piece of their production pipeline, and they need it for rigging, modeling, and special animations. It is used by a lot of feature films and animation studios, such as Blue Sky Studios, What a Digital, Framestore, Sony Pictures Animation, Pixar, The Moving Picture Company, and Industrial Line of Magic, just to name a few. And these studios have been making some of the most memorable movies and games for many decades. And not to forget the first 3D animations that introduced us to the first full 3D animations that shaped up the CG industry as a whole. Maya has been used in a lot of movies such as Lord of the Rings, Avatar, Transformers movies, Star Trek, and Jurassic Park, in addition to most Marvel productions such as the Avengers series and films. For example, we can mention Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, in addition to DC productions such as Batman, Superman, and stuff. Maya was also used to create visual effects for television shows such as Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, and many others. And through all of these industry-leading studios, VFX houses, and big titles, Maya is a common thread. Also, one of the most important reasons that made Maya the best software for animation is its high performance in large-scale projects. Maya is fast, and its rig evaluation is fully multi-threaded, which maximizes CPU utilization and efficiency at the same time. Whereas Houdini, Blender, Max, and Cinema 4D are essentially single-threaded for rig evaluation. This means Maya is able to use the full power and potential of your CPU, while other software can only use a fraction of your machine's available power. Additionally, in the past two years, Maya has added cast backplay which basically lets you see changes made to your animation without the need to fully render it. Previously, 
each time you modify the scene, Maya would need to update to see the edits and you often had to play blast the scene. Depending on the size of the scene and the changes made, these updates were very time consuming. Nowadays, this scene is automatically cast as you work and Maya only recomputes the part of the animation that has changed rather than redrawing the whole scene. Maya's entire design and development is heavily focused and geared towards maximizing rig performance and ergonomics, making animation as easy as possible for artists. We also have to mention that the learning curve of Maya is significantly less steeper compared to other industry standard tools such as ZBrush or Houdini, which requires understanding complicated internal terminology and odd workflows. So Maya is intuitive, basic, and user-friendly. Additionally, users of Maya do not need to switch between contacts and scripts or explore a note tree in order to use it. Everything in your scene is contained in a single point and click outline or window provided by this tool. And non-technical animators can pick up the software quickly and utilize it efficiently. If you are using Maya, I do recommend everyone to use Maya to configure their hotkeys for a better experience, but it is not required. Maya also has a quick marking menu system, reducing the need to master keyboard shortcuts. Also, since everything lately is going towards proceduralism and using nodes, Maya is a completely node-based software, and it has been from the beginning. Unlike Houdini, however, the node system isn't optimized for procedural content generation. Instead, it is designed as an efficient evaluation engine, more like a visual programming system used to build rigs in addition to other stuff. This flexibility allows artists to build nearly any sort of behavior they wish, although some principles of rigging and character setup seem fairly well established. Like the idea of a joint with skin weights, these sorts of assumptions are not set in stone as the optimal way of building rigs. One of the reasons why artists love Houdini is the fact that it has a heavily node-based workflow. Blender is another software that also pushing a new everything nodes architecture, which goes to show how important this design choice is. It's worth mentioning that in the past few years, Maya has been advancing its new Bifrost graph system, which is a Houdini-like procedural processing system. Talking about more technical stuff, Maya's graph editor is the most popular animation tool used to animate today's most notable movies, animations, and video games. It allows you to control character animation in a much more precise and visual way, giving you a more intuitive approach to manipulating animation curves in addition to keys in your scene. The graph editor is a professional animator's must-have tool, and since animators spend a lot of time in the graph editor, it needs to be attractive, simple to use, loaded with cutting-edge features, and most importantly, it has to be configurable, which Maya offers. In addition, the graph editor is handy for solving motion problems, and it helps identify and fix abnormal movements that cause jerkiness, so you can create, view, and modify animation curves in various ways. For example, you can control interpolation between keyframes, extrapolation of curves, and change animation curve value and timing by altering the shape of animation curves using tangent handles. You can also make changes to manipulate keys at once. Moreover, there are hundreds of uses for how it can help improve the speed and quality of your animations. Now, let's talk about one of the most important things in animation, which is Human IK, short for Human Inverse Kinematics. It is an animation technique that features a full-body inverse kinematic solver and a retargeter. For those of you who feel kind of lost, well, in computer animation, inverse kinematics is the mathematical process of calculating the variable joint parameters needed to place the end of a kinematic chain. So, human IK tools in Maya provide a complete character keyframing environment with both full body and body part keying and manipulation nodes in addition to effectors and pivots. It also provides a retargeting engine that lets you easily retarget animation between characters of different sizes, proportions, and skeletal hierarchies. This feature enables characters to interact realistically and accurately with their environment. And finally, one of the most important secrets of Maya is Mel, which is short for Maya Embedded Language, and it is Maya's core scripting language. Maya's user interface is created primarily using Mel, as it provides an easy way to extend the functionality of Maya. Simply said, everything you can do using Maya's graphical interface 
can be automated and extended. Using Mail, you can bypass the user interface, quickly create shortcuts and access advanced features, and you can customize everything to your need. This makes Maya Pipelines friendly because the majority of Maya's interface is contained in ordinary Mail scripts. And most importantly, you can create procedures and scripts for custom modeling, animation, dynamics, and rendering tasks. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.